Let's talk about the PT speaking and how you can improve your oral fluency. Now getting your required score in the PT academic exam can be quite stressful and it must be or one of the reasons might be because you are struggling with your fluency. In today's video, I will be talking about some targeted strategies that you can use to have a better command over your oral fluency. I'm going to give you my 10 top tips and also a bonus tip. So please make sure to stick around. Let's start learning. All right, before we get started with anything, what does oral fluency actually mean? The PT scoring guide defines fluency as smooth, effortless and natural paced delivery of speech. Now that is kind of a tough thing to achieve, especially when you are sitting in an exam hall and getting all tensed. Oral fluency is not about speaking very fast, but it's about speaking fluently and smoothly. It talks about how well and with how much ease you can transfer ideas in the form of a speech. Also, you should not have much of pauses and filler words. This particular task, that is this particular criteria of the oral fluency applies to many tasks like the read aloud, repeat sentence, describe image and also the retell lecture question types. So let's get started with the different tips. The first thing is learn to be relaxed and confident. You see, pauses, repetitions, hesitations, it's all natural especially when you are scared. It's okay, no problem. Remember, these things are what will actually show that we're not confident in our speech. The machine recognizes the rhythm and the nature of your speech. So try to be as relaxed as possible. Speak in a slow paced manner. That brings me to my second point, which is speak in a natural manner, tone and speed. The simple, the actual trick here is to speak naturally. Think that you are speaking to an actual person and try to speak in that same way to the computer. If you have a habit of speaking too fast or maybe too slow, then with a little bit of practice, you can change that entire manner of your speech. The third thing is avoid slang. The PT exam is a formal examination that requires the candidates to respond in a decent academic language. So if you are in a habit of saying certain words like, I wanna do that, say like, I want to, or I gonna, going to, or let me, let me. These are simple words that you can correct yourself. Clean your brain out of all these words, throw it out and start practicing some formal English. The fourth thing is reduce your fillers. You know, what are fillers? Fillers are basically words, sounds and phrases that are immediately filtered out of your message by your listener. So simple things like, um, mm, you know, when you're trying to talk a sentence, um, or things like, you know what I mean. Those kind of things should be completely avoided. Before we jump on to our fifth point, if you are watching this video and getting some value out of it, please make sure to hit that like button and let us know that it is informative. The fifth point is start organizing your thoughts. You know, in some situations, we lose our train of thought and start to pause and eventually lose focus of what we are actually trying to say. This basically happens when we run out of idea or we can't find the right words. Try to increase your knowledge and improve your vocabulary because in that way you will be able to organize your different ideas. The sixth thing is avoid unnecessary pauses. Don't speak as if you are taking time to think in between. Speak in a fluent rhythm. The pace should neither be too fast or too slow. In our daily speech or in normal circumstances, you know, we tend to use fillers while we are organizing what to speak. But 
However, in the PT exam, please try not to use that. Try not to give a big pause because if you give a big pause, then the computer can stop recording. The seventh one is give proper pauses. Take short pauses after you finish certain sentences or an idea. Try to chunk your words together. So say for example, if you have a sentence of around 11 words, say three words at a time. In that way, you can give proper stress also to your sentences. The eighth point is building your vocabulary. You see, one of the major reasons why people find it difficult to actually speak without any pauses and fillers is because they are searching for different words. They don't know which words they're supposed to use. But over a period of time, your vocabulary will improve. And one of the ways that you can do is try to make reading a daily habit. Read every day and get some new words into your own mini dictionary. Before we jump on to the ninth point, hey, we would love to have you on our YouTube community. All you have to do for that is subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever we drop a new video. That brings me to the ninth point, get a conversation partner. You see, this is incredibly a helpful method if you are looking to improve your fluency. But the main thing here is try to pick up a partner who is as dedicated as you are. You know, that person also should be in a learning process. In that way, you both can speak to each other, correct each other, and also not get irritated with each other. Find someone who speaks fluent English and who has interesting things to say. It can be about anything you want. You know, it can be about maybe talking about the news or the latest movies or anything, whatever interests you both. The 10th point is listen more. When you listen to people speaking in English, stop worrying about what they are saying and start noticing how they say it. Focus on the rhythm of the language, the tone, the stress management, the different patterns that they are using. And this will definitely help you to improve your fluency as well. And now, time for the bonus tip, like I promised, and which is record yourself speaking in English. The best way, which I always recommend to all my students to improve your pronunciation is to record your speech in English. Check how you pronounce every word and work on some of the mistakes. Let me know in the comment section with what you are struggling with in the PTE. Let me know if you have got any doubts and I can help you out to clarify it. If you are looking for some proper advice and guidance in your PT preparation, all you have to do is log on to our website and send us an inquiry and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Check out some of our other PT videos that will be popping up and improve your knowledge. Till we meet again, this is your tutor, Noel, wishing you a fantastic week ahead. Ciao.